We unfortunately live in a day and age where we can't work for more than 10 minutes without being interrupted by some distraction. Sometimes it's a notification, an email, or just the noise of busy life. While we don't necessarily have the power to eliminate these distractions, we can fight back. How? Through one skill, deep work. Deep work refers to being in a state of distraction-free concentration where your brain works at its maximum potential. In today's video, we'll teach you exactly how to develop this skill. Let's begin. Principle 1. Structure To work in an organized manner, your lifestyle must be organized as well. To implement structure into your life, we have two powerful recommendations. 1. Download a simple to-do list app. We recommend Microsoft To Do or Todoist. Now, every night before you go to bed, open up this app. Then, write down the tasks that you have to complete the next day. If you see yourself adding so many tasks to the point that it becomes overwhelming, do your best to omit the tasks that are not urgent. Doing this will help you wake up with intention. 2. Start using a digital calendar. Whether you prefer Google Calendar or Notion Calendar, using a digital calendar can help you ensure that your days are spent in an organized manner. So many of us may reach a point in the day where we feel like we have nothing to do. We often end up wasting this time on unproductive activities like scrolling on social media or playing video games. Just take 30 minutes out of your day to set up a digital calendar and be sure to design it with the perspective of what you want your life to be like. This means that you should include exercise blocks, no screen blocks, etc. If you're interested in applying the principle of structure to other areas of your life such as skincare, style, and fitness, then consider checking out our full-length Looks Maxing playbook in the description below. Principle 2. Focus. Now comes time for the work session itself. If you implemented the first principle, you'll have an easy time knowing when your work session is and what you'll be doing. This is half the battle already completed. In order to ensure maximum concentration and productivity during your work session, implement the following two techniques. 1. Take advantage of Parkinson's law. This law states that work will expand to fill up the time given for its completion. In simple terms, the amount of time you give yourself to complete your work can either work for you or against you. This is why we recommend setting a time limit that strikes a delicate balance between challenging and achievable. If you normally give yourself one hour for a given task, try setting a 45 minute timer this time. 2. Keep the Pareto Principle in mind. This principle states that 80% of our results come from 20% of our actions. In the context of your work, only a few key actions will actually produce the bulk of your results. To use this law to your advantage, always write down the work session objectives before you set your timer and then rank these objectives in order of importance. Then, dedicate the majority of your time to the most important objective. Principle 3. Rest. It's important to understand that deep work is not about working for longer. It's about doing more while working for less time. To give your maximum focus in a work session is no easy feat, and you need sufficient rest to be able to do this long term. Taking from the book Deep Work by Cal Newport, we encourage you to develop a shutdown ritual. A shutdown ritual is a specific set of actions that you perform at the end of each workday to make it clear to yourself that you will not be interacting with your work in any way until tomorrow morning. Unsure of what to include in your ritual? Here are some suggestions. You could begin by updating your task list so that you know what needs to be done the next day. The question of when to schedule your shutdown ritual is completely up to you. Whether you want to stop when you feel your cognitive abilities are declining, or you want to stop at a specific time each day, feel free to experiment until you discover your preferred option. After your shutdown ritual is complete, resist any temptations that you get to check email, call a client, etc. This will get easier with time and it'll allow you to wake up with a clear, rested mind the next day. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you gained value from today's video, feel free to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to connect with like-minded individuals and develop your deep work alongside them, you can join our Discord server. It'll be linked in the description below. We wish you the best of luck in improving your productivity and we'll see you in the next video.